Hello and welcome to an Unreal tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at how to create a media player slash movie textures within the Unreal Engine. We're going to look at this in the kind of context of how to implement a media player that starts when the scene or level loads. Also how to pause and play the video when you enter certain areas. So as you can sort of see here in our simulated view here we have these banners which are actually mp4 videos that are playing on a kind of loop but if we also was to play this in the editor and move to this screen over here we should have the video should play and with sound like so and if we leave the area it should pause so if we come back it should continue where we left off which it does and what we're going to do is we're going to look at how this was set up and create one on this plane here so I'm going to be just be using the tools in the engine today I'm not going to be using any custom 3D models or any uh, custom UV unwrapping so we're going to be using just planes to this but the actual process and the kind of context is the same regardless of what you apply the material to so the way we're going to begin is we're going to need to first source our video file. So I'm going to be working with MP4s just because that's the format I typically render out in anyway and it's a format that Unreal seems to like. So I'm just going to find my video. So in this case I'm going to use this VR headset rotate and just I'm just going to drag it into my content browser. We could also right click, go to media, file media source and then if we double click on this file path and load it in this way but for the sake of easiness it's easy just to drag it in if you can so if we double click on this we can still see our file path bear in mind that these files are being stored locally these aren't actually packaged as part of the project yet we'll look at how to package our assets in a future unreal video we can also adjust the settings for the overrides depending on what platform it's been played on but for now I'm just going to press save I'm going to rename this to video free just because I already have two videos in my scene. And I'm going to need to create our media player. So we've created our source, now we need a player to actually control it. And this is where the, the, your version may differ depending on which version of Unreal you're using. Um, but from newer versions tend to only give you one option so in the previous versions you used to have the option for video and sound to be exported as separate assets now it typically packages the sound as part of the video but you have to add in a, another tool to add the video the actual sound play we'll get to that in a bit so for now i'm just going to go to video output media texture asset press ok i'm going to also rename this to video free i'm just going to call this play because it's going to be our player and if we just double click on that this will bring up our media player window I'm going to select my video free and in details we have a few options we have play on open shuffle and loop I'm going to press loop and I'm going to keep on play on open for now but we will be adjusting that in a bit to use a trigger for playing and pausing I'm just going to press save and I can close this window for now and we should see here we have this media texture that's generated from our media player. So if you don't see an image here, just check that your media player has been is actually on the video you want to select. And just press save to confirm that. We're going to select this media texture and I'm just going to drag this on to my plane. Now doing it this way will automatically generate us a material with that texture already applied. So if we just double click in here, we can see we have our settings. So we can actually just things like the roughness, speculum, metallic, emission, etc. We'll look at their materials in a future video. But for now, you should just see this sort of black material. That's because our video at the moment, although is, the texture is linked, it is actually not being instigated yet. It means Unreal knows that there should be a video there, but it's not being called upon to actually find it. So it just stays on this kind of black frame of nothingness. 
So the way we're going to instigate this is we're going to need to launch or get the uh, upon the level opening we need it to instigate and find these sources. So we're going to use the level open blueprint. So I'm going to go to blueprints, open level blueprint. Now you will notice I've already have some sources in here for the two videos I've already got in my scene and I'll explain uh, why this is set up this way in a moment as we create our third one. Another thing you will notice is I've actually got this uh, coming from my event begin play. I've got this sequence. This sequence allows me to activate multiple uh, triggers or multiple events once my user has uh, or the level has begun playing essentially. So on event begin play, i.e. level loads or level has begun or the play button has been pressed, it's going to go for the sequence and fire off this one sequence and then fire off the second sequence. So it's going to load up these two video files. So we'll go, we'll explain this as I do the third one. So we're going to go over to our variables and click on the plus button. We're going to just call this video free. And then over in our details panel, we're going to select our variable type and we're going to search for media player. And we want to go to media player under objects type, object reference. Like so. And now if I drag, I want to drag my video reference, my variable onto my events player here. And I'm going to get video player free. So my get variable free is here. I'm going to drag from this variable and add an open source. Nope, not open source latent. Open source. And if we just zoom in here, you'll notice that we have a few options. We have target, so this is linked to our variable. We have media source, so this is going to be where we source our video. So these are our free video players, so these media sources here. I'm going to select video free. And on my sequence, so what I did here is I actually clicked from my event begin, added a sequence, added a sequence patch on um, action, sorry, under flow control. And by default, it comes to two. I'm going to need a third one, so I'm going to add a new pin, and I'm going to just link this up to my source now. If I only had one source, one video player that I want to load on that level, I can just simply go from event begin to open source. I'm going to press compile and save. And now if I just double check things here, so just press play and see if our video loads, which it hasn't. So we need, something's gone a little bit to squiff here. So let's just double check everything. So that's set to be that. There we go. So sometimes you'll notice that the when we change things in the level editor, that sometimes our media player might actually unlink. So just double click on it, make sure the video is linked and then press save and it should then correct it in our scene. So if I now hit play, it should play, but it isn't. So let's just see why that's happening. So I'm just gonna check my level editor here. Okay, so one thing, so what happened there is I kind of just forgot to do one step. So I'm just going to go back into my le open level editor here, and I just need to make sure that my variable here, once I've compiled it, has this v default value here. So you'll notice that um, when I first dragged it in, we didn't have an option here, but once I compile it, press save and kind of come back to it, it actually now appears. So I'm going to go back into my default value and select video player free, press compile again, and then press save. And then just double check now that my media player is linked to the right video file. Now if I hit play, our video should now play on our material like so. And because I set it to play on load and loop, it should continue sort of indefinitely. But what if I want to now add some controls to this? So the way we're going to add controls is I'm going to use a trigger in this case. Now, we're going to use a box trigger just for the purposes of quick explanation and quick demonstration. So I'm going to go to basic box trigger. I'm going to drag this 
to where I want it to be. So once my player enters this space, let's just close these warnings. These were because uh, it wasn't linked correctly, which I resolved as you just saw. I'm going to extend my collision box. So it's a large enough area for somebody to walk into. I'm not going to worry too much about the exact dimensions. I'm then going to go to the blueprint. I'm going to create a new blueprint for this. I'm just going to call this trigger video free without any spaces. New subclass, link to trigger free. Okay. I'm going to go to my event graph. And I want to do event actor begin overlap. So I'm going to use one of these event graphs here and just drag this into my scene. So this is this one here. So I've got my trigger box here. I'm going to now need to create a variable like I did with the open level. So I'm going to go to variables, add, and this is just going to be video free control. And under variable type, I'm going to make this a media player object reference again. I'm going to now drag this into my event graph. I'm just going to get it like so. And then from this, I'm going to click and drag from the blue variable and add in a play. So we should have this one here that just says play. And I'm going to link this to my event actor begin overlap like so. I'm going to click on my variable here, press compile. Just so it gives us this option here for the video that's going to be controlling. And I'm going to select video free. And what I want to also do is have a pause. So when the actor leaves the space, I want the actual video to pause. Add event collision actor end overlap. And I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to click on my variable again. This time I'm going to type in pause. And I'm going to link my begin actor end overlap to my pause like so. Hit compile. Check everything is still linked up, which it is. I'm now going to just need to go back to my video player. Make sure that the play on open is unticked. Make sure my video, right, the right video is selected. And now if I hit play, the video should be paused. So nothing should be moving. But as soon as I enter this space, the video should play. Once I leave that trigger zone, the video will pause, and once I re-enter, it will resume. So that is how we have the basic controls of playing and pausing videos. But what if we want to add sound to our video? So to have a look at how our sound, how to control sound, if our video clip already has sound associated to it, Unreal will actually be able to play that. Uh, when the video is playing or paused, for example, or when it's loaded on start. So by default, um, when we drag our video texture onto a plane or onto an object, uh, the sound won't be present. So we actually need to add a component to our object where that texture is linked. So I'm just going to just delete our media source for a second, just to sort of reset it. So here we have our video, that, this one that actually has sound to it. So I'm going to go to Add Component under Details, with that plane selected. I'm going to type in Media Sound. And it's going to ask me for some information in detail. So it's going to ask me for what channels, is it stereo, is it mono, surround, etc. So I'm going to go to Media Player. I'm going to select my associated media play, uh, player that has a sound link to it. So this will be your video clip. So in this case, video two, I can enable spatialization. And I can also enable actuation. So what this means is basically as, our, as we walk through the way, the sound will start to drop off. So I'm going to enable spatialization and override actuation. And now if I hit play, 
and I walk into that zone, the sound associated to that video will play because the media source is set to the media player and that media player already has the sound information in there. Hello and welcome. So now we have our sound associated to our material, which our video is being played on. If we ever want to adjust our settings, we can adjust the radius of our sounds, how sort of where the drop off happens, the fall off distance, etc. We've got lot again many options here for reverb, sound levels, volumes, etc., etc., etc. But anyway, we'll look at sound in more detail in a future video. But hopefully, this kind of gives you a idea of how we can use media textures or media players to create animated or moving materials and have some controls over how they play and how they are loaded into our scene. So we'll need to look at optimization on how to package these files at the end. So we'll look at that in a package file. We'll also need to look at how to control sound in greater detail and material. So for now, this is a kind of step and stop, getting your videos in there, getting your MP4s in there, setting up your media players, but there's a lot further to go in order to create something truly interactive and dynamic. If you like this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.